Hola guys, so welcome to the Soul Finds video, which is basically um, I will share with you guys some of the products I picked up while I was in Seoul in South Korea. So you can have an idea of what um, things I'll be reviewing or what reviews will be coming up on the website, okay? I thought I would do this video today because it's like, um, I think the first day since we've been back that's actually... Um, where the sun's been up for longer, well, actually that the sun came out. I think in my last two or three videos you would have noticed it was sort of at night, but it really wasn't night, it was afternoon. But um, the days are shorter in winter here, so yeah, I kind of had to do the, the videos in sort of um, evening sort of light. So I hope you guys will bear with me. But um, it's sort of okay light today. I'm sorry if, it's, if I'm coming out a bit red or bronze or whatever. That is the light coming right into my face. But um, I thought it would be a good day to make swatches because I have some natural daylight at last. Anyway, so we'll get right into it. Um, I'll try to go through all the stuff I have. Um, the first stuff I picked up was from Misha. If you're in Seoul often... Or if you know a bit about um, Asian beauty stuff, you would know um, the name Misha, which is M-I-S-S-H-A. And um, they've got, you know, a, a whole range of cosmetics. So the first one is this, um, what do they call it? Shine? Shine Stick Eyes. Okay. Um, anyway, basically it's an eyeshadow stick. Okay. Come like that. That's the color there it's it's sort of a pearly color with like gold in it okay so it just um twists up like that sort of like a lipstick sort of thing and if i will swatch it for you it is it's really comes on really easily really creamy formula not the most creamy thing you'll find but you know so if you can see it's really it's pearly it's sort of like um a muted gold and like slight peachiness in it, but m more gold. So um, that'll make a good base for eyeshadow. I haven't tried it on its own. I will let you guys know how that works out for me. Um, another thing I picked up from them is this eyeshadow. Uh, comes in this packet. I, I know. I think if I understood it correctly from um, what the lady told me, these are like single eyeshadows or whatever. But they they have palettes that you can put these things into them that's why they come in this sort of plastic casing they're not meant to be used like this you you're supposed to get um palettes and you can fit all these things into there but anyway um i would have absolutely no idea what this is called <laughs> because it's in korean but um if i understand it correctly it's, it's a duo eyeshadow okay so there is a um, muted gold similar to the stick I just showed you and a sort of light lavender purple okay so it's two colors in there so I'll try to pick them up very soft very powdery I hope that shows up okay I'm really sorry if this light is failing me but I was just happy to do the first video this year in daylight so really powdery not sure if i'm liking them on initial um on this initial swatches i like the gold the, the peachy muted gold but this purplish lavender one not so much um sorry this one yeah it, i don't know on fair skin it would show up but i'm not sure about about my skin i'm, I'm worried it would come across rather chalky but um yeah i would have to let you guys know Okay, and the last one is a single eyeshadow, but it's a um, a cream eyeshadow. Again, same plastic casing, and I will try to get it open. Oh, here we go. So it's a cream eyeshadow. I just I just was curious because I like cream eyeshadows for for base for powder eyeshadows. So again, a muted gold color, really really creamy. So this is the first time I'm trying it really creamy similar to the stick that I used that I just showed you earlier but um much creamier and more there's more gold in the sun I don't know if you can see there so they all have a metallic sheen to it except for that lavender so those are the things I picked up from Misha but they also um gave me samples of things um this is this it's a 
healing massage. I guess it's for the face. So if you guys out there have tried it, let me know. I will try the sample and if I like it, I'll probably pick it up the next time I'm there. And sort of these foot masks. Okay, I've never ever tried any of these things before, but I do have um, not so nice feet, so I'll probably find a use for them. Okay, moving on. I got a couple of things from, um, not a couple, three things from um, the face, the face shop. And when I was in Seoul, I think three years ago or something, I actually went to the shop, but I had no idea about this brand, um, the face. I was just then, I think they had a sale, I was walking past the shop and um, I went in and got like brushes and stuff. And while I was in Incheon at the airport, um, I went past one of the shops and they had these counters for them. So I recognized it and I thought, and they had some nice stuff. So I picked a couple up. The first one I picked up is this, it's a baked shimmer blusher. It comes in a casing like that. And I'll open it up. And it's really pretty. It's this shimmer, sort of shimmer strips in there. You can see there's a mirror. And... There it is. It's really beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to trying these individually and as a blush. If I will try to swatch, um, I'll try to swatch these, this bottom color for you. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay, really pretty peachy color. Really warm toned. So um, I hope it'll uh, work out as really a nice blush sort of thing. Is that showing? Really pretty peach color. I love those kind of um, colors on my skin tone. So we'll let you guys know how that works. Okay, so that was their shimmer blush. I'm, I'm pretty happy with swatches so far. Looks like something, it's these two up here. Looks like something I could use. Um, the other thing I picked up was this gloss and matte lip palette. Really um, nice packaging with this design on it, square little case, but you know, fits into the palm of my hand like that. And it's basically for sort of pinkish nude colors in a palette, okay. And again, a mirror up here. That's the nude gloss, okay. Um, I like these, it's, it's really small, so it's, it's good for traveling for you know, road trips and things like that, where I don't want to take like really various tubes of lipsticks or lip glosses. I like small palettes like that for that. And the other one, in a similar design, but just different colors. And this is um, another lip palette, but this is more, also nudes, but more pinks. Okay. So we'll be doing a review on these ones as well. Oh, it comes with a lip brush, but I'm not someone that uses lip brushes. I'll get my hands in there. I just, uh, I have better application with my fingers, okay? So, um, that was the three things I got from the face. Another um, product I picked up. If you guys, especially those of you in Fiji that do travel back and forth to Europe, um, most probably you guys transit through Seoul. Right, and um, if you go, to, if you stay at the Hyatt Hotel, which is five minutes away from Incheon Airport, there is a sort of shopping, uh, how how to call grocery store. It's sort of like a huge discount store, but you know, it just feels like a huge grocery store to me. And it is behind the Hyatt, so it's not that far away. If you go out by the back entrance of the Hyatt, it's like really just right opposite and so you, there's stairs going down and the emat is there so if if ever you're transiting and you like forget certain things like I did which is how I found the emat then you can just go there and pick up they have everything there from clothes to skincare to food everything so anyway um, I came across this br um, brand they had a counter there Clio professional um, it's this is I got an art blush again like I was noticing this in a lot of the Asian stuff they have all these really um, cool designs and I like them like it's really arty and creative I think anyway anyway so this is a blush okay so it's a mirror up there when you open it up and it comes with this curved brush okay 
so it says Clio Professional. You can see it's um, concave, concave brush. Anyway, and there is the blush inside, and if you can see, it is really beautiful. It's marble. It's a marble blush. You've got all sorts of colors swirling there. You've got purple. You've got pink. You've got gold. You've got peaches. Reminds me a bit of my favorite um, Kiko bronzer. It goes in that direction, but um, this you get a more um, peachy finish, a peachy color. Hope you guys can see that. Uh, we'll swatch it onto this hand. Okay, I I cut myself, so don't mind the huge band aid. But um, can you see the blush there? Isn't it beautiful? And it's got a sheen to it. It's not overly shimmery. So if I would put it on my cheeks, you'd see like all these chunks of shimmer and all. It's just, it just has a nice sheen when the light hits it. Another thing, well actually this I got on a previous trip to Seoul. But I thought I would just add it all into this one because I've never actually tried it. It's, um, I don't know, it's from Etude House. Etude House? I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. And it comes in a packaging like that. Okay, oh, sorry. Yeah, this this was the packaging for the Clio Professional Blusher. So it's called the Art Blusher. So, yeah. Oh, and the number I have is number one. Okay, I think they have like four or five different um, shades. And I got number one. Anyway, so this is the... It's just simply an eyeshadow palette, okay? So... Out of this packaging, you get this casing, pink with sort of a, if I put it sideways, you know, you got the black, the black compartment or whatever, it makes it look like it's a ribbon, and then you got a bow there in the front. Anyway, so you open it up, and you get a mirror on top here, as usual. Oopsie, oh, that was the plastic sheeting. Um, you get, you get a brush, and with a sponge end, and a sponge tip on its own, anyway. So it's a, it's a nude, um, nude, it's a natural palette, I would say, because you've got, um, you know, t two shades of brown there, and then a sort of muted gold, and a bit of a greenish, olive gold, I would say, over here, okay? So the two uh, browns are rather matte, and let me just clean my hand so I can swatch it for you, okay? So that's the dark brown, it's, it's really matte, and... You've got a lighter shade of brown here. Yeah, this one's darker. And then I'm guessing this one on top is the highlight color. It has a slight shimmer, but really, really faint. So I guess it could work as a highlight. And um, this one is really, really shimmery metallic. So this would be the one that I would put on my lid. Okay, and then the matte comes with the crease color. So those are the four colors that's them swatched on my hand so as you can see um this is the really metallic one the sort of olive gold this is the highlight color over here it's, 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 there's a sheen to it but i promise you you don't see um chunks of glitter in there or shimmer it, it really is um uh, there's a sheen when the light hits it and so and these two are rather um rather matte okay there we go. Um, so that was, um, I have no idea how you say it, Lu Lucy Darling? Probably Lucy Darling, and it's from Etude House. So those of you uh, in Asia who are familiar with the Asian um, makeup brands, you probably can tell me, to, you probably know these brands, and maybe Etude, Etude House is a known brand. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just getting familiar with this stuff. I actually like the stuff from there so far. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious to try a bit more of the Asian stuff. Anyway, um, the other stuff I picked up while I was there, they're not Asian brands, but I picked them up because it is simply cheaper for me to get it in Seoul because I'm paying it in American dollars than it is for me to get it here in Switzerland. So um, basically I got two blushes from Bourgeois. Okay, um, It was just so tempting, so I got them. And I've got number 72 and number 22. If you guys know, um, if you guys know Bourgeois, um, you, you'd recognize these baked blushes from them. They, they have their eyeshadows are done this way as well. Anyway, um, 
I'm pretty sure it's it's a European brand and but seriously here in Switzerland especially this thing is so pricey so I, I can't believe that I got it cheaper in Seoul in, by paying in American dollars so um, yeah anyway so I've swatched two of them here for you so this is number um, number 72 here and number 22 here okay so I've just I haven't blended them out I've just swatched them so don't like get shocked by the colors but um yeah this is more like a bronzy and bronzy one and this is more well yeah tomato like <laughs> yeah so it's like a really reddish brown so um of course the the blushes are really pigmented okay that like it's a small container you know but that's the thing about Beaujois. I really like a lot of their products like their eyeshadows and stuff they tend to be really pigmented so um you would really have to pick up very little with your um, blush brush and I mean this is just the dab of my hand and then you you blend it out on your face right so um, yeah with these kind of blushes you really need to blend it out so those are the two I got I got them because I don't have um, blushes in this shade in my collection huh? so uh, but basically yeah looks like that okay mirror on top and then you get you get the same concave like in the Clio one and you get um I don't know a little paper oh, giving you tips so um you can use them as sort of a highlight as well for our skin but they look kind of matte to me but anyway so that's the bourgeois um blushes I also picked up this mascara from Maybelline like I said I was at the e-mart and, and you know things were much much cheaper there so I thought I could experiment with the mascaras I would I would get here but I would just pay a lot more so I got this um, well it's called it's from the um, volume express the magnum one I'm not sure what you call it in in the US and the UK but um on this it says it's super film but anyway it's I've used it only once so I'm still figuring out how I feel about it but you know so far from my first just initial test it reminds me very much of the the falsies it's just yellow so I have to figure out what it is that's different you know same curved brush you know um, I think this one's a little bit shorter but I don't know you know wonder why they come come out in yellow in a whole different packaging when it looks like it's essentially the same product but you know I'm jumping to conclusions I have to check and see if it is the same um, the last thing I have to show you guys is this um, palette from Lancome um, that I picked up also at in Inchen in the duty free section simply because it's a travel palette and I the colors really appealed to me so um, I'm the kind of person that hates having so much stuff in my bag when like what I fly with and like hand luggage and the, the less stuff I can have in there like the more compact I can make it it's great for me so this palette really interested me so I picked it up it comes in this packaging um, so that shows you all the stuff in there okay and it's the absolute voyage palette uh, sh shiny um, packaging did I just blind you guys okay anyway um, the usual long casing from Lancome with their rose logo thingy in the corner and you open it up okay so the first <laughs> but the first level you got a little huge mirror there okay and then you've got your eyeshadows and your lip colors in the middle and you get um, a blush just above the blush that strip there that is a concealer and then you've got three shades of eyeshadows um, on each side and then oh and, and there's the mascara there on top right there okay I have put the Misha strip on top so I don't blind you guys with the, with the mirror so anyway um the second compartment the second compartment slides out like that Okay, so you've just got that the, the eyeliner, you've got a blush brush, you've got sort of an eyeshadow brush there, and a lip brush, and your um, a lip liner sort of thing, and a little sponge, okay, I guess for the compact powder. So, um, I really like the, the lip colors, you know, really natural, but gives you a slight tint to your lips, 
which is where I picked it up because when I travel I don't do like a really you know um, out there looks I just I tend to go for more light um, natural looks because they're just easier to maintain especially if you're flying from um, Zurich to Nandi is around 22 hours in total yeah so it's like 10 11 hours to Seoul and then another 10 11 hours on to Nandi you get like a three hour transit anyway so really long flight I just you're too exhausted to look fabulous so I like to use some of these natural colors uh, and then I really really like these um, eyeshadows yeah so I'll just quickly swatch them for you okay so these three th those are on one side okay um, really sh satin finish the you know they're not really metallic or shimmery but when the light hits it you know and then the the brown of course is is matte which is great and um, pigmented really soft eyeshadows anyway those are all these things I wanted to show you so expect reviews on them I will be testing them out in the next few weeks and I'll let you know how they worked out for me if they're even worth um, looking at if they're somewhere near you and um, more videos coming up soon and uh, let me know if you need more swatches or any of these things um, yeah so that's about it um, we'll be doing I think a new discovery series and probably Eve Ross I got some curious people asking about that brand so uh, I picked up a couple of stuff from them today so yeah expect that and a lot more thank you very much for joining me for this video and i hope you guys are having a great week so far until the next video bye, -bye.